said it's coming on primary day and the fates and fortunes of the Kentucky political landscape could be decided in the next 24 hours. It's a mad dash to the finish line for Kentucky's primary election. 12 Republicans are vying for a chance to take on Democratic challenger Andy Bashir potentially in November. WKYT's Kelsey Soto joining us now in studio with the last minute campaign stops from those candidates. She's joining us now in studio, Kelsey. Well, they all have some very different approaches, and for the last few months, though, you have heard them in debates. You might have seen a yard sign or maybe even a television advertisement, potentially heard them on the radio, or you've read about their campaigns online. But today we caught up with five of the frontrunner candidates who made stops around the region today for one last plea to voters about getting out to those polls and exercising their right to be heard. It's down to the wire, and Republican candidates for governor are making their final pushes before polls open Tuesday morning. Mike Harmon, current state auditor, made some stops in eastern Kentucky to visit with voters. Any race that I've run, you run like it's up to you, you pray like it's up to God, and you just run hard. Uh, you know, it does prepare you. You know, I, in years past, I've had uh, lost my first two races for the House before I won state house. I was the first Republican from Boyle County to win that in 102 years. Somerset Mayor Alan Keck visiting the mountains, reminding those who live there that they matter and he'd like their support. This is home. I mean, you know, Somerset and Pulaski County, we feel like we're a part of East Kentucky, even though we might not be in the mountains per se. Uh, this is my home turf. This is my home region. Uh, and so often people in Eastern Kentucky feel neglected or left out. I know specifically, you know, with the recent issues, that has been the case. They feel left behind. Uh, that's not going to be the case for me if I'm governor. Attorney General Daniel Cameron spent the afternoon in Lexington, never mentioning his opponents and focusing focusing solely on his campaign thus far. We've got, um, you know, a few hours before uh, the polls open tomorrow, and uh, we feel strongly that we're in a position uh, to win on May 16th and, and feel greatly encouraged by uh, the number of folks that have been praying for us and supporting us in this endeavor. Former Ambassador Kelly Kraft also paying a visit to Central Kentucky, but lobbing some criticism over the Kentucky border. I am tired of losing jobs to Tennessee. And I have told Governor Lee, I'm going to introduce a third new sport into the Southeastern Conference. It's called the economy. And you know, Matt Jones, he's going to have to talk about the economy come fall because we're going to beat Tennessee on the football field, the basketball court, and the economy. Ag Commissioner Ryan Quarles tells me his journey has included a grassroots approach, visiting all 120 counties in the state, meeting people in their backyards and hometowns. I've enjoyed the last year of my life traveling the back roads of Kentucky, learning firsthand about the issues that affect all Kentuckians. And I feel that for me, the timing is right for somebody with some dirt on their boots to serve as governor of Kentucky. Now a heads up and reminder, tomorrow you will be required to visit your assigned precinct. And if you're not sure where that is, the info is all posted on the Secretary of State's website. And as we have previously reported, Kentucky is a closed primary state, so you will only be able to vote with your party. But those that are not registered as Republican or Democrat may still have the opportunity to vote in that special election. Kelsey, thank you. Polls are open 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. local time. Everyone who is in line by 6 will be allowed to cast a ballot and you will be required to provide photo identification. Kentucky does not allow for same day registration.